What's up you guys, Isaac with a chance you hit my next Marvel Legends toy video review and today we're going to be looking at the Marvel Legends Today we're going to be looking at the Marvel Legends series, the Black Goat, the black and Gold Suit Spider-Man from Spider-Man No Way Home Excuse me, so for the package I got this very cool You got this very, you got this very cool open window that showcases um, Spidey, which is, he is the Black and Gold Suit Spider-Man You do have his accessories and here is Armadillo's leg He is from the Builder Figures line and um yep yeah, here's the black and gold suit spider-man and he is from spider-man no way home and he was made by hasbro on this side and this side you get a really nice artwork or image of spidey on the back of the box you get to see spider you can see another image of spider-man and you do get um other accessories that comes with that actually puts armadillo together you get spider you get the into you get the integrated Spider-Man suit, you get the uh, black and gold suit, you get Doctor Strange, Mr. James Jonah Jameson, um, Miles Morales, um, what's his name again? Um, Marlon and Sh and Marvel's Shriek. And we have a little bio here which says Spider-Man replies on his black and gold suit and abilities to defend against. I mean, against threats. That's true. So, so for the package of Spidey, that's about it. So let me get this dude out here. So awesome and movie accurate, he actually is. So we have a, here we have here is the black and gold suit Spider-Man out of the packaging, and I gotta tell you, this is a, this is some, this is something that I was been looking forward to for a while now. Um, ever since I heard about the figure coming out, but this is a cool figure. So there'll be some things that I like and some things I'm I'm not a fan of. So let's take a look at Spider-Man. So so what I really like about this figure is um I think the 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 the, uh, the entire outfit looks black and gold and I will talk about the forearms in a minute. I'm just not I'm just really a fan of the black and gold suit and it kind of does it kind of look it kind of reminds me of the you know what this suit reminds me of? The black and yellow suit that we saw in the Spider-Man PlayStation 4 game, most likely. But but th but this one is different because this one is the black and gold suit. Because you know why? Because um because of the uh because the color because of the color because of the web lines on here are gold, and I really like the way Hasbro colors the web lines on this on the web on the web lines there, um gold. And the rest of the figures like have this metallic tech, have this, um, this ma some kind of painted metallic black on it, and I think this really stands out, including with the shoulders as well, including the upper arms, no. And with the legs, same thing, gold. And the back of the spider also on here is gold, and the rest is black. Including the head scope, but I do want to say that the head scope is most likely the same. And also, I forgot to mention this is a repaint and a re. This is this figure is a repaint and a remodel of the the upgraded Spider-Man suit that we gotten from Far From Home or No Way Home. But um, the head scope does look great. I really like the way they colored the the they painted the 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 web lines gold on the mask as well including the eyes are the same and mostly the, it does have the the black on the black on the black paint on the um the head sculpt and and i do want to talk about the arms well the, the forearms real quick i heard a lot of people are not a fan of the forearms as well well it's not just the forearms it's the paint that wasn't really complete as well but I do want to say I'm not a fan of the the paint job on the forearms. I'm just not a fan. They recently just left the red, they left the red um paint job on here, and I have no idea why. They could at least painted the forearms black and gold or something. I think that would have been better. <laughs> so I think this is all red, and I have no idea why, but I'm not gonna worry about it. So anyway, so for articulation, um, he can look up, he can look down, he can look this way and that way, um, and I do want to say that one of my biggest issues with this is this. See, you see, you see how all of this just like comes out, and I think the same thing with this. 
Oh, with this one, it's fine. But with this one, I don't know why that's there in the first place. But I'm going to just, like, grab something. I'm just going to grab some. I'm just probably going to grab something to, like, cut this off or something. Excuse me. So, and um, he can move it. Yeah, he can move his arms. He can move his elbow joints, which are a little stiffed and a little bit tightened. But I do want to say, I don't want to say much, and he does come with hand accessories. Well, he does come with the um, hand accessories, which is he actually shoots out of his, where he actually shoots his webs out of his wrist. And he does come with Armadillo's leg. And what else I like about the figure is this is a, this is a, um, this is a great ass figure, but I think this should have been better. I just don't understand. I think I like the uh I think I like the integrated Spider Man suit better than well this one I like, but there's some stuff that should have been painted. But I think they're probably gonna repaint the I think they're gonna I think Hasbro's probably gonna repaint the forearms, um, and the hands one day, maybe. Um, as soon as they, as soon as, um, they probably have to relook at the film and see what the black and gold suit looks like, or look at the images or something, but, um, what else, um, I think I lost it, oh well, but I do want to say that I really like the suit though, but I think it could have been better, but I think they did a fant I think they did an okay job and a great job with the, with the figure, but I think there's nothing much to say. So there's nothing much to say about the Black and Gold Suit Spider-Man, and that's about it. So be sure to like, subscribe, press notification button, follow me on Instagram, comment down below, and then I'll see you on my next re my my la my next review or last review actually. Well, my next review. So I will see you on my next review for Sprite.